So hi guys, I am up today and I am going to get my tattoo. <laughs> um, I'm very excited but I'm also not very well either. Today is now Wednesday and we're going into Dublin. Steve is here. Hey Steve. No. I'll do that Steve, just come in. Okay. And um, yeah, so my IBS is clearing up really bad and so is my fibromyalgia. But I've taken what I can take and... I'm hoping that I survive. I will also try and vlog as much as possible. Um, I'm not too sure what I will get vlogged, but I'll try and do the best I can with how well I am. Steve. Off we go. Hi guys, so today is going to be a tattoo video. I'm so excited. So this is my latest tattoo and you can see that I'm trying to pull up my sleeve so you can have a look at it. But basically, this is the beginning of my X-Files sleeve. So I'm extremely excited about this. So originally what I um, had planned to do was I contacted my artist and was like, I have these ideas for an X-Files half sleeve. So just on this part of my arm and I gave her all of the ideas and she was like that's so many ideas how about we do a full sleeve and then I looked at Steve and I was like should I do a full sleeve you know I was thinking is that not a bit much or something and then I just thought about it and I was like let's just go with it <laughs> so I went for it so there wasn't a whole lot of thought into it but I knew it was something I wanted I absolutely I'm obsessed with x-files guys I love it so much and um, I knew that I wanted something like that to be kind of dedicated to my arms or that, you know. So anyway, she agreed to do it as well and I was so excited and this was the idea that she came up with. So um, it's obviously, like I said, it's not finished. This is just the outline of it, but she's done such a good job. Um, it is healed really nice. Like I'm super happy with it, especially because it's the biggest thing that I've gotten. It's the biggest piece that I have gotten. If you guys have seen all of my videos of my other tattoos at the moment, they're not as big as this. <laughs> so, um, she put the stencil on and I absolutely loved it. I loved the placement and she started tattooing. So when I went up that day, I was feeling so bad, guys. Like, I felt really, really bad. Um, I got some clips of us going up and stuff like that because I thought that I was gonna be able to vlog. I was like, oh yeah, I'll be able to vlog today and it'll be great. But no, my stomach started at me and I was so sick. I was, so you guys know that I suffer from IBS and fibromyalgia. It was the worst I think it's really ever been in a long time and I actually am still recovering. Um, when I say recovering, it's still flared up. I'm still sick right now and bad and it's like, it's like a month or something later. I, I, I have no idea of the time, I'm sorry, but it's, it's a good while later. And um, yeah, my stomach was so bad. So when I got there, like I told her, you know, my stomach's not doing good and everything, but we'd do what we could. And um, she started anyway, and I was sitting up, which was a big mistake. I know for future times I need to be lying down because I got dizzy and I was like, oh no, no. Um, and I just, I had some food. I had some food anyway, but because I was going to the toilet so much, it wasn't really staying in my system. I know that sounds nasty, but that's kind of what happened but I ate this time and it was fine and I felt so much better once I was laying down I was so able for it then even though it was the most painful fucking thing it was so painful this was the most painful tattoo that I ever got um I'm not too sure why um it could have been just because I was so down and so unwell I wasn't able for the pain it could have been the fact that I suffer from fibromyalgia and I do have pains and aches in my arms quite a lot so this could be a very tender area for me there just could be a lot of reasons but for me it just hurt a lot I know other people get it done and it doesn't hurt that much she also used a much bigger needle than she usually uses 
thanks so much Keelan <laughs> but um that could have been to do with it as well because when she was shading and stuff like that it definitely wasn't as bad um than that particular needle mm -hmm. Anyway, I am so happy with it. It did take me a while to enjoy it. I know that sounds it's ridiculous, but basically when I got it, I was so unwell. I, when I seen it when she had it done, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. But then there was a come down. We got home, I was so sick um, for like a good while. Uh, like I said, I'm still not great, but I was just really unwell, really down. I found it very hard to, to deal with it, you know, because you're like, you're so wet, unwell and you have to like clean it and stuff. I did also try Sanoderm on it and that did not work out. Um, I will have a review of Sanoderm sometime in the future, but it won't be now because I put it on and my poor tattoo needed to swell and it really hurt it so I had to take it off and just let it swell and um yeah it was I just I didn't have a great time with the sand and darn, but I can't judge it just by that just because it's such a big piece and I could have been doing things wrong so in future I will let you know more about that so I just healed it my normal way I did put some cling film on it and I very quickly stopped doing that because I have a bad reaction to the cling film and that happened this time as well it swelled up, it bruised, <laughs> the cling film reacted to it so I had little rashes, everything happened to it. Um, it. It seeped everywhere, it got all over the bed, the bed was destroyed so now that bedding is specifically going to be for when either of us get tattoos um, so that we can just destroy that bed and now. <laughs> That's about as much as I can really talk about you know healing wise and stuff like that. It, it came and it went and it's really, it really healed so nice. Like right now it's so soft and it's just, it's really good, I think anyway. And I think it looks really good as well. So I'm gonna give you guys a look of it. And I will say that I'm not going to be doing much close-ups of it or anything like that. <coughs> just because it is line work, it could be very easily stolen, um, which is unfortunate. And I don't want to just show too much detail in case somebody decides to use it. Do not use it, it is a custom piece. Don't steal that artwork, don't be an asshole and um but yeah i'll show you what i can of it now so this is it um i absolutely love their faces keelan has a like a specific style um like of faces i don't know how she does it but she just does really nice faces if you head over to her instagram dinky ink you can see other faces that she does and it's a similar style so we've got smoking man up here which i absolutely love um, his awesome hair, hair here, he's holding his cigarette, his famous cigarette. So Keelan was telling me that most of him probably will be blacked out um, with the style that she's kind of going for. Um, his eyes maybe and his cigarette will kind of be lit up more than the rest of him, if that makes sense. She's also going to be adding more back here too, but that will be kind of done in the next session. Behind here we have Mulder in his suit. I absolutely love Mulder. I think he's so cute. Um, I do like, because he, he's behind there, I don't see him as much. So I do get like a nice surprise every time I see him. I'm like, oh yeah, Mulder. <laughs> and then Scully is right here and I absolutely love Scully. I see her mostly um, all of the time. Like when I look down, there she is. And I absolutely love her. So obviously everyone needs to be colored in and then more will be added down my arm um, eventually. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Isn't it just so nice? I can't wait till it's finished. I'm gonna be so excited. But yeah, um, I'm so excited. Um, do you guys love the X-Files? Let me know down below. And um, I will see you guys in my next video, um, which hopefully will be soon. Bye.